old MacDonald over there. His many bunnies, they multiply so quickly. I don't even know how many bunnies I have now. Well, let's help him. He has three hutches. Each hutch houses five rabbits. It means he has 15 rabbits in total. Is that magic? No, that's called multiplication, isn't it? Just amazing. You can figure out a total number without adding one by one. And it's easy. You'll learn it with me. Let's learn together. Basic Multiplication for Kids Multiplication is when you take a number and add it together a number of times. For example, 2 times 3 is when you take the number 2 and add it 3 times. 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. So 2 times 3 equals 6. What about 2 times 4? It means you take the number 2 and add it 4 times. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. So 2 times 4 equals 8. These numbers 4 and 2 are called factors. The number 8 is the result or product. If you switch the factor numbers, 4 times 2 and 2 times 4, the product will be the same. Back to the farm. Let's count how many bunnies Uncle McDonald has. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Phew! Boy, that was exhausting. There are easier and faster ways to do it, though. There are three hutches, and there are five bunnies inside a hutch. With addition, you need to add five three times. Five plus five plus five equals 15. Or we can do it even faster with multiplication. 5 times 3 equals 15. See? That was fast, wasn't it? To make calculations fast and easy, there are a few very helpful tricks when it comes to multiplication. The first trick is any number times 1 will always give you that same number. For example, 5 times 1 equals 5. 10 times 1 equals 10. 200 times 1 equals 200. What about 1,000 times 1? That is correct. The answer is 1,000. How come, you ask? Let's look at the bunnies and the hutches. One hutch has five bunnies. And there is only one hutch in the pen. How many bunnies are in the pen? Correct, five bunnies. Now, this one hutch has ten bunnies, and there is only one hutch in the pen. How many bunnies are in the pen? Correct, ten bunnies. What about 200 bunnies times one hutch? <laughs> yes, 200 bunnies. Another multiplication trick is anything times zero is zero. For example, five times zero equals zero. Ten times zero equals zero. 200 times zero? Yes, zero. Don't believe me? 
Let's go back to the farm. If one hutch has five bunnies, but there are zero hutches, meaning no hutches, in the pen, how many bunnies are in the pen? None. It's zero. If one hutch has ten bunnies, but there are zero hutches in the pen, how many bunnies are in the pen? Correct. None. Nada. Zero. So it doesn't matter what numbers we have when we multiply by zero. The answer will always be zero. One times one is one. Two times one is two. Three times one is three. Ten times one is ten. One hundred times one is one hundred. Any number times one is that exact same number. What is eighty-eight times one? Yes, the answer is eighty-eight. Two is eight. Ten times two is twenty. Any number times two is that number plus that number. What about thirty times two? Yes, the answer is sixty. Is nine. Four times three is twelve. Five times three is fifteen. Ten times three is thirty. Add the same numbers times three, and that's what times three is. So what about eleven times three? Yes, the answer is thirty-three. Four times four is sixteen. Five times four is twenty. Six times four is twenty-four. Ten times four is forty. Times four is adding the same. About twenty-two times four. Yes, the answer is eighty-eight. What about multiplying by zero? Any number multiplied by zero. It's multiplication. Shh, let me tell you another secret. It's a secret you need to memorize. It could help you solve many multiplication puzzles. 
It could help you multiply in a very short time. That secret is called a times table. A times table. Do you know what a times table is? A times table is a list of multiples of a number. It helps you find the result of a multiplication quickly. Let's take a look at this times table. What is three times two? First, find the number three on the top and find the number two on the side. Then find the intersection. The intersection is number 6. So, the answer to 3 times 2 is 6. What about 5 times 6? It's the same. Find the number 5 on the top. Find the number 6 on the side. Then find the intersection. What's the number my finger is pointing at? Yes, it's 30. So the answer to 5 times 6 is 30. Now let's do it together. What is the result for 7 times 9? Let's go. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ta-da! <laughs> Did you get 63? Good job! You can download and print a times table, or you can make it yourself. We will have a video of how to make a times table soon. Keep checking back on our channel, okay? It is best if you could memorize this times table. It's going to be so useful. Speaking of multiplication by 9, did you know there is a very neat trick to do multiplication by 9 using your fingers? I'm not kidding. Okay, first, let's put the times table up to cross match the answer with your fingers. Put up your open hands facing your face. Let's do 2 times 9. It's the number 2 that we need to pay attention to. 1, 2. Number 2 falls on your index finger. Put down your index finger. See, there is now a divider between your fingers. There is only one finger up on the left side and eight fingers up on the right side. So, the numbers are one, eight, which is 18. The answer is 18. So two times nine is 18. So easy, right? Let's try again. What is six multiplied by nine? Open your hands and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put down the finger the number six falls on. How many fingers are on the left side? Five. How many fingers are on the right side? Four. It is five, four, or fifty-four. So the answer to six times nine is fifty-four. See? Easy peasy. Remember, practice makes perfect. Keep doing your homework. This always helps with your multiplication skills. As always, 
Don't forget to subscribe to Noodle Kids channel for more videos like this.